It's an eyesore the university district is fighting to get rid of. For me, and I think for anybody that's struggling to uh, pay a mortgage, when you come out and you see graffiti on the side of your property, um, on your garage or even on the dumpster behind your house, it's a real problem there. The graffiti breeds crime. Clintonville Area Commissioner Dave Southen has led the attack against graffiti in his community for years. He proposed teaming up with the University District to get rid of graffiti together. It gives us more power and it's going to let people know that we're, we're not going to stand for this. Southern has a $1,500 graffiti arrest fund that pays tipsters if a tagger is convicted. If the university district can match the funding, they'll combine resources. It's been very effective so far. And uh, we uh, caught uh, two taggers on Indianola and Oakland Park, and they were both sentenced. McConnell also hopes to create micro grants to help residents and business owners pay for graffiti cleanup. We're going to go to uh, businesses, university district businesses, um, homeowners, people, stakeholders in the neighborhood and ask them to pitch in a little bit so we can help out everyone.